If you take anti-androgen drugs for acne, then you will want to watch this video to the very end. Even if you don't take these drugs, this video has information that can still help you. Drugs such as spironolactin, flutamide, bicalutamide, and cypertone acetate are anti-androgen drugs used to treat acne. These drugs work by inhibiting or blunting the androgen receptor. Sometimes, unwanted side effects come from anti-androgen drugs. So, I will show you an alternative. And this alternative can help you even if you don't take these drugs. With the focus on acne, how does the androgen receptor affect acne? Bodo Melnick has a good technical discussion. I have shown a picture from his scientific paper. Let's talk about how to interpret this picture. The lines that have arrows mean A causes or contributes to B. The line that ends with a T means that A inhibits or blunts B. With B inhibited, it works less. Let's take a close look at the blue box labeled AR on the left-hand side. AR stands for androgen receptor, and there is a red circle with FOX01 which is above it. FOX01 means forkhead box protein, but the name is not important. FOX01 to AR has a line with a T, so FOX01 inhibits AR. The main point is that FOX01 inhibits the androgen receptor because that is the same thing that anti-androgen drugs do. That is, spironolactone, flutamide, bicalutamide, and cypertone acetate work by inhibiting the androgen receptor. Now, let's look at what leads to FOX01. FOX01 is inhibited by insulin and IGF-1. If you read the details of Bodo Melnick's paper, you will find out that dairy consumption causes IGF-1 via microRNA. In this picture, the MIR-21 is microRNA. Insulin is also caused by carbohydrate consumption and generally by overconsumption of calories. So let's talk about using diet to inhibit the androgen receptor. That is, if you want to use diet to mimic the effects of anti-androgen drugs, this is what you must do. You reduce carbohydrate consumption and you eliminate dairy consumption, because carbohydrate and dairy consumption will inhibit FOX01, which we don't want. If you let FOX01 be uninhibited, then FOX01 will be allowed to inhibit the androgen receptor, which is what we want. This picture helps you see the chemical pathways that connect diet to the androgen receptor. I want to talk a little bit more about insulin. In general, everything that helps insulin sensitivity will help acne, because having good insulin sensitivity means your body needs less insulin. Everything that causes insulin resistance will make acne worse, because insulin resistance means your body needs more insulin. As a general rule, eating too much raises insulin, so changing the diet can do the same thing as spironolactin, flutamide, bicalutamide, and cypertone acetate. Anti-androgen drugs are not often used in males because of the potential for side effects. Using diet instead will help avoid these side effects. If you found this video informative and useful, please share with others. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it in the future, then subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in specific actions to take to help with acne, then check out my website at goodacneadvice.com. I love feedback and would like to know what you think of this video. Please tell me what you think with a comment. Lastly, if you have any questions, please ask them below in the comments section. I will respond to all questions.